I haven't shared my income report recently for my KDP business, so in this video I'm going to show you my income report for September 2022. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And today I'm showing you my earnings and outgoings for my KDP business for September 2022. So far this year has been up and down and the summer months are usually very slow for me. But I was determined that I would be more prepared for quarter four than last year. So I have implemented a few things that have paid off this month and I'm expecting to hopefully be able to keep my sales trend going upwards. I started publishing in November 2019, so my results now are not typical of somebody just starting in this business. However, this is what is possible and what you could achieve after a lot of hard work and after some time. Publishing low content books is not something that generates money quickly and please be aware that videos claiming this are leaving out crucial information. For example, I use Amazon advertising to boost my sales and that is a cost that has to be deducted from any earnings. So I don't want anybody to think that my results are typical and that it was easy to achieve this, but it is something that can be achieved. It is possible and I know people who are making even more than me. So it's absolutely possible to have a full-time income on Amazon KDP, but it just takes a lot of effort and some time. But if that's what you're willing to, to do and you're willing to put in the work and the time, then there's absolutely no reason why you can't make this work for you. So without further ado, I will show you what I generated in September and afterwards I will be talking about the changes that I made that helped me increase my income from previous months. So as you can see for the month of September, I made $4,975.97. And that amount is generated by about 30% of my books. I've got 612 books in total. That's all the books that I have. I have added a few books this year. I've been making books regularly this year because it was something that I didn't do last year and I regret that I didn't make enough books last year. And it's always a good idea when you have an online business to keep your content fresh and updated. So I'm planning to keep creating more books, different books, so that I can try different markets as well. And you can see that the trend is kind of going upwards. So I'm hoping that my book sales will increase into next month as well. It's up and down. Some days are better than others. And uh, most of my income comes from the United States now, which is completely different to how it was in previous months. So I used to sell most of my books in the UK and that has changed now. I sell more books in the US now and also Canada. And partly this is because I made books where there is a higher demand for these type of books in the US and Canada. And also partly because I started to run ads in the US and Canada too, which I didn't do much before because my books were not selling there much. However, with my new books, I seem to have more of an audience in the US and that has increased my sales. My best selling books that I always sold before have started to sell less and the new books that I made recently have taken off. So there is a change in the type of books that I sell. This could be seasonal and I expect my old books to start selling again nearer Christmas. When I say my old books, I mean the ones that have steadily sold for me in the past. Um, and that is because they are popular gift books. So I expect them to increase their sales in, uh, in quarter four for Christmas. So as you can see, my main income comes from the United States now. That was $3,395 dollars and 91 cents followed by the uk which was 1067 uh, pounds sterling and six pence 
and also Canada, Canada with 420 Canadian dollars. So it really has changed for me. The main market used to be the UK and it's now the US. So what did I do differently that had an impact on my sales? First of all, I made more books. Last year, I didn't make any new books as I was concentrating on other parts of my business and I only created two children's books. And this was my biggest regret last year. So this year I made sure that I published more books. I had a lot to do with my YouTube channel and I was creating my children's book course. I'm now creating more courses. So sometimes there is just not enough time in the day to also make books, but I really have prioritized my books this year and I will keep you informed as to how that's going and whether I'm seeing an increase in sales. So when I started making more books this year, I researched a lot. The way I do my research is to go to bookstores and see what is popular in there. I love going to bookstores. And then I also look on Amazon and find books that sell really well. And then what I do is I research the best sellers in a niche and I research everything about them. If they are independently published, how many books do they sell? What kind of covers do they have? What kind of interiors? And then I study their feedback. I make notes of any feedback that indicates improvements that could be made. So if I can improve the books that are already out there, I make a note of that. And researching all of this is what takes up most of my time. So research for me now is really important and I think it has paid off. You can still find niches where you know something about them and where you can really make the best kind of interiors and covers. And I have also put a lot of effort into my covers this time too. So I'm taking my time with covers and I'm creating them the best way that I can. I make sure that they stand out amongst all the other covers. And I also make sure that the titles and subtitles are really big and bold so that people can read them and see straight away what the book is about. And I also don't shy away from publishing in competitive niches. I don't agree with people who say that Amazon is saturated or that there are too many books on Amazon to be able to sell anymore. I try and find niches with low competition, but if I find a book that I know I can improve and that I enjoy making, I go ahead even if the niche research tells me that the niche is not good enough. So don't be afraid to publish in popular niches because that means that there is a really good demand. And of course, you have to see if the book that is selling the most in that niche is something that you can compete with. But you don't need to be the number one book in that niche. You can just make some sales in that niche. And the book that is selling a lot can continue selling well. That doesn't mean that you can't break into that niche and also make sales. I believe that you can still sell a book in a competitive niche if you bring something different to the table. If you make a better interior or you have a better cover, you can still break into niches that others don't think are worth it. So finding a low competition niche is great, but it's not necessarily the reason for getting more sales. I also started running more ads. I have tried lottery ads. There are some great videos out there and I mentioned two of them in my last video if you have a look and they have helped bump my sales a little bit. However, the bulk of my ads are from auto and manual ads and I have advertised my new books in the UK, the US and Canada. So overall, I'm spending a lot on ads and I still have a lot of work to do in optimizing them as I feel that I'm spending too much really. <laughs> but I also understand that October is not a great month for ads and that a lot of people click on products and put them in their baskets rather than buying straight away. So I expect ads to do better next month in November. At the moment, I'm still learning. I'm still not confident to make any videos on ads because I still think that I have a lot to learn. But as soon as I feel that I'm doing well with my ads, I will make some videos to show you how I do them. So what have I spent on my ads? I can show you now. In the UK, I have spent 200 and 32 pounds sterling on ads, which translates to $257. 
in the US I spent $269 on ads and in Canada it was 120 Canadian dollars which is 88 US dollars so the total ad spend in US dollars would be 600 and $14. So you have to take that away from the royalties that I earned in September, which was $4,975. So we take away the $614 and that makes a profit of $4,361. However, here in the UK, we have to also pay 20% VAT on our ads. So you have to take that away from the profit as well. And also the cost for my tools and apps. You know the kind of tools that I use because I talk about them in my videos. So I've bought tools outright like Publisher Rocket, Tangent Templates. I've bought a lot of tools that are just a one-time payment. But I do have monthly subscriptions to Creative Fabrica um, and to Book Bold and other kind of things. So those have to be taken off, but that's definitely less than about $100 a month. So if you take that away from my earnings, then you get to the profit. So I'm really happy with that this month. This is a real improvement to my previous months. The summer months are always very quiet for me. There aren't many months in the summer where I make more than $2,000. So this has really been a good month for me. And it shows that the improvements I made are paying off for me. Of all the things that I improved that, you know, creating more books, running ads, concentrating on covers and making the books really better than other books. I think of all of those things, the one that has helped push my sales is concentrating on better covers. I think that has really helped. Running ads also helps, but I still think that just creating better covers has helped me push my sales. And that is because I made some changes to some covers and to some interiors and the books started selling better after that. And that was not relying on ads. So learn as much as you can about design and about how to present your books. And don't be afraid to change your covers and your interiors if you can make improvements on them. So that is my income for September. I hope that has helped you with your business and hopefully you found that interesting and there are some things that you can apply to your KDP business from that and let me know how it's going for you. I hope I can show you things that help you to improve your KDP business as well. I will let you know if I make any other changes and how that reflects on my business. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you and bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,